So things really aren't looking good for Kodak Black right now. He was arrested again yesterday and could be facing up to 20 years in prison and maybe even more. I mean, as we've seen in the last few years, judges have been strict, especially on rappers. You got Bobby Schmurder, you got Meek Mill. Look at the way they did him. So he was, first of all, he's only 20 years old. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that, but he's facing charges of grand theft of a firearm, possession of marijuana, child neglect, two counts of possession of a weapon by a felon, and two counts of probation violation, coming to a total of seven charges, which, as you know, he's already had a ton of legal troubles throughout his career that have been plaguing him. So seven new charges, and by the way, he was already on house arrest when they came and raided his house yesterday. And the funny thing is, he was on Instagram Live when they came and raided his house, and he didn't really seem all that phased by it. He seemed, like, pretty chilled out about it, like, almost like he was expecting it. He got ill for a whole hour, bitch. He called him and shit that. Mr. Black, right? Yeah. What's up, sir? Your phone's part of the search warrant. You're not going to get your phone back. My phone's part of the search warrant. Oh, mom, man. What's going on? What's going on? I don't have nothing in my pocket, man. I can't even get my pocket. Where's the search warrant? 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 Where's the or his house, I mean, probably you would think, well, why would you do that? But I think the charge that would stick out to a lot of people is child neglect. And from what sources online are reporting, that report of child neglect doesn't necessarily come from, you know, it's not like he was keeping some kid chained up in his basement and neglecting him. Uh, what it means is just there was a kid in the house and there were also narcotics and firearms in the same house. So that counts as neglecting the child. So, um, yeah, it, they found basically a bunch of guns and ammunition in his house and a bunch of weed and obviously since he's on house arrest he's not allowed to have that and this is all stemming i mean he has this long history of these you know drug and firearm arrests like in 2015 he was arrested for a robbery battery two counts of false imprisonment of a child under 13 years of age three counts of false imprisonment of an adult driving with a suspended license and possession of marijuana and then he was arrested again actually twice in Broward County in 2016. Um, earlier in the year, it was for possession of a weapon by a convicted felon, possession of marijuana, and fleeing from law enforcement. And then the one later on in the year was for armed robbery and false imprisonment. And then he's been on house arrest. He's been doing anger management classes and community service. And then he's on five years of probation. And then while he was in custody, and this was his most recent, why he went back to jail most recently, because I don't know if you remember, this was last year, but he was on probation. He went to court basically for, you know, his... However many months you have to go back to court and talk to the judge about your progress and things like that. And they found out that he had a pending warrant for criminal sexual conduct and then a, a, another one for marijuana possession. So he was arrested again. This was last February on that probation violation. And he was sentenced to 364 days in jail. But he participated in this early release program. And he walked out of jail on June 5th on house arrest. And things were supposed to be peaches and cream from there on. He had the Project Baby 2 mixtape. And he talked about how he's going to change his ways and how he doesn't want to be this guy anymore. And then it seems like he I don't know what's going on with him, but it seems like he just hasn't been able to uh, keep his foot out of the streets. It seems like he has one sh foot in the music industry, one foot in the streets, and this is something he actually talks about in his music a lot and expresses like this kind of grief over the fact that he can't get over the street side of his life. So I guess we all should have seen this coming, and maybe that's why he was so calm on the Instagram video, maybe because he knows that there's no way he can escape this, which is kind of sad but also what's kind of sad is when you google kodak black almost half of the google images that come up are different headshots or mug shots of him which shows just the extent of his legal troubles so with all these different charges especially the child neglect all the firearm charges considering the fact that he's on house arrest this could um you know each of those charges could carry up to five years or more and i think they're really going to throw the book at him this time but he's been able to get off so many times in the past like he's done so much stuff and has still been able to kind of overcome these legal troubles and i can't believe he was given like a third chance a second chance a third chance a fourth chance a fifth chance and now he's on a sixth chance and it's like you know how many chances is the court going to give this guy no matter how talented he is so we'll see um and we'll keep you updated on this this has been local savage news